Hi guys and welcome to the Bee Kick and Bee Twist tutorial. Okay, so I'll put the links to two videos, fundamental techniques and uh, transition and setups just to give you some ideas to some good um, techniques in the videos that will help that I'll probably mention in this video. Um, so yeah, the Bee Kick. First to start with, what we want to do, feet back shoulder width apart. And what we're going to do is lean our body over our right leg. I'm a left twisting trick, so I'm going to do it this way if you're the opposite. Obviously do the opposite. So I'm going to lean over my right leg and I'll lean my book body and arms all the way over. And that gives me some distance. So you'll swoop down, and back around and up. And that's going to generate uh, some lift in our torso as we kick the back leg up. So we get um, horizontal in the air. Okay. So starting with our body weight over the right foot, and what we're going to do is lean onto this, uh, the opposite foot, my left leg, and as we go round and down, really pushing off that uh, takeoff leg. Okay. So body weight over the back leg, super nice and long, round and down. As we come back backing up, really push those arms up, really go for some height as we push off that leg. And lastly. We get the back leg to come kick up and get it nice and high in the air. Okay, so just an example. So. Okay, so I'll put a slow motion. So as you see, the upper body swings all the way down and round. Um, and as it comes back up, the right leg kicks nice and high. There's a nice arc right over the top. Okay, you can imagine sort of as a fence down the middle. Okay, so some sort of barrier, and all we're doing is sort of trying to get over that um, barrier or fence. Okay, so you can start small, it only needs to be a small step to start with, and as you get more comfortable you can make it bigger and bigger until you're all the way up to the top. And when you're in the air, a good tip is to arch your back and really spread your legs and arms out and get a nice shape. Okay, so just one more example, just going down and around. Okay, up and over. Okay, so that's the bee kick. Um, another good tip with the bee kick is, which will also help with the bee twist, is when you are swinging and swooping your head and upper body down, as you're coming up, you want to shoot your head uh, perpendicular to where you're going. So, my momentum and my bee kick is going to my left, so it's going across the camera. I'm gonna shoot my head towards the trees behind me, okay? So as I come round and down, I'm gonna turn my upper body, and throw my upper body towards the trees, and when I kick up that leg, that comes towards the camera, okay? So those two momentums, throwing your head uh, behind, uh, sort of perpendicular behind you, and your legs perpendicular in front of you, that generates some momentum so that your body becomes straight and lined so that'll help into the twist, uh, getting into the B kick. Okay. So moving on to the B kick. Okay. So very similar to the B, uh, sorry, B twist. B um, very similar to the B kick. We're going to swing round and down again. Body comes up nice and high. Get your chest up, arch your back. And as you kick that leg up and over, you'll have your arms out, and then. I'm going to do the big shape to the ball shape, which is in the fundamental uh, video. Okay, so you're having your arms out and legs out. So when you're in the, at that position in the air, you're wrapping it all in, throwing your, or my left arm, back and round, and pulling right arm uh, round the front, and pulling into that nice uh, wrap. Okay, so just an example. So swinging down and round, and then into the tuck, into the wrap. Okay, there we go. So just a slow mo again. So again, we've got the same stabbing with the left leg, um, kicking up nice and high with that right leg. That gets you nice and level in the air. The more you do the swoop and your upper body swooping down and round, and that back leg kicking up nice and high, gets you nice and horizontal in the air. Okay, and then lastly, pulling those arms in, wrapping that. Um, left arm back 
right arm forward, or the opposite if you're going the opposite way, and generating that twist. Okay. So another good tip is uh, a lot of people get uh, start to cross their legs when they're in the air. Okay. So that all that momentum that's taking you round, you have to use your legs as well. It's not just your arms. So when you kick your right leg up, nice and high. The next uh, thing to do when you're in the air is to really drag and pull your takeoff leg back and round so that you're in a pinto shape. Okay. Um, a lot of people, as you tend to twist, your legs will drag behind and you lose momentum. Whereas if you try and pull that back leg round with it, you'll generate even more momentum and get round a bit quicker. Okay. So. That's the B kick. Okay, so another, moving on to maybe a swing through. Um, basically, the more tabletop you do the B twist, the easier it will be to, um, to swing through. Because basically, you want to get your chest up nice and high so that you're in a standing up position so that you're, and leaving that back leg behind so that you can generate a bigger swing to generate more force to get round into whichever trick you do. Okay, so just an example. Okay, so just do a B uh, twist again. So down and round. Okay, there we go. So, again with the um, swing through, if you really want to try and tabletop that momentum of throwing your head towards the trees, or wherever you are, um, and my legs towards the camera, really getting that tabletop motion of my twist coming this way, my legs coming round in this momentum. Okay, the more you do that, the more almost into an A twist um, uh, momentum, sort of down and over, it gets that your legs to come round and down into the position ready to a, a swing through. Okay, makes it a lot easier. Again, getting your chest up nice and high really helps as well. Um, I think that's about it. Um, yeah, hope you get it. Um, and good luck.